Good morning, everyone. Man, you know it's cold outside when the bug wash in the bucket is slushy. Ah, oh, horrible. It's like 12 degrees out here. 12? Oh, this is a funky pilot. You got to come out this way. It's only one way. And then you got to flip around at the cafe over there. Whoa. Man, look at all that. Get off here. There you go. Oh, we got a truck driver over here on my right. Uh, I might be able to get the video of it when I flip around. Uh, they done. They didn't check their load this morning. They didn't check to make sure that they were hooked in right. And the trailer slid right off the fifth wheel. One mile ahead, turn right on Winchester Drive. Yeah, we're not going to do that. No, we're going to go in here and flip around. Make sure we can get back to the interstate. I don't know where that road goes. And I don't know if it's weight restricted or what. So we're going to go where I know I can get back on the interstate. I think this is about normal for people. They do this all the time. I've seen several people go through Going here. one mile ahead, turn left on US 6 East West East Street. Yes, I know, and don't slip on the ice. Thank you, lady. Appreciate you. Oh. Let's see. Is the sun gonna be in the way? Yeah, it is. See a wind dependent down there? Let's see if we can zoom in a little bit. There it is. See him? Lord, dude. Let's go, Jeremy. Yeah, we got. We're gonna be there probably about. Uh, local time, about 1 o'clock. We still got 233 miles to go, and central time, it'll be about 12 o'clock. But whatever, let's go. All right, so we're back at Gerdau in Jackson, Michigan. We were just here Monday. Uh, doesn't look like there's anybody waiting. I'm first in line. There's nobody over in the spots over there where they were waiting the other day. Looks like they got a couple trying to come out though. I'll go ahead and go pop my chains. Back in the truck. I'm sort of tired of this. Every time I turn around, somebody won't stab me in the back again. People that are supposed to be.
Let's all go to Steel Dynamics. Let's all go Steel Dynamics. That's right, we're going to go pick up a coil. And that sucker's going to Houston for Monday. So guess who's going home? I'm going home this weekend. I'll be home tomorrow. Even though I told him I was going to stay out the weekend. Doesn't matter. I'm gonna go home because it's on the way. Go right past it. But we're not going to Steel Dynamics in Butler though. We're going to Steel Dynamics in Columbia City. And I can't remember whether I've been to that one or not. So I looked at it on the GPS the satellite view. And the directions that they give you in the when they send you your people that stuff your plan uh, not quite right I think there's an easier way to get there than what they're saying so that's what we're gonna do I think I've been there before but I'm not quite sure uh, I'll figure it out when I get there because I can recognize it if I if I get there but just telling me that I've been there <sighs> kind of like me with names I suck at names I can remember your face most of the time but I suck at names yes I do uh, speaking of going home uh, somebody sent me an email and I didn't write his name down I'm so sorry and I was supposed to do a shout out to, to somebody and I didn't write that down either while I was going or <laughs> while I was sitting um, give me a minute All right, luckily I was stopped at that stop sign I could look at my email real quick uh, Jeff Anthony sent me an email and was asking me about uh, home time do they really try to get you home every weekend if you want to go home my answer to that is yes yes they do try okay there is from time to time you do get stuck out all right and it's I guess that lady trying to come on over okay well sorry about that lady I was trying to come on uh, from time to time you do get stuck out and it depends on um, what freight they've got moving moving around where you're at in the country versus where your home is okay and if you are stuck whether or not they can get you a repower or a um, or a swap to get you to the house all right so they do that all that stuff now if I don't ask to stay out then by like Wednesday, Thursday, they're giving me a load to get me back into my home area. Usually, okay? The reason why they sent me back up here and they asked me to do that swap yesterday was because I asked to stay out. Now, it just so happened that the load they're giving me now is gonna go to Houston, which is 1,100 and something miles away from where I'm picking it up, right? So it counts as a weekend load, more than 800 miles, and it just so happened to be going by the house, so I get to go home, right? But 
by my choice, if if they wouldn't have had a load going that way, then I would have stayed out this weekend and hung out in the truck for the weekend and just delivered on Monday wherever they sent me. Okay? But if you want to get home every weekend and you don't elect to stay out through people net and you have to do that, or they assume you're going to want to go home, there's a there's a form on there that we send in and it, we can stay out anywhere. It'll let us choose anywhere from one, two, to three weeks. Uh, maybe four weeks. Okay? Um, but uh, that's something you discuss with your fleet manager when you when you get your permanent fleet manager you tell them you know hey this is how I like to run because you'll have you'll have like two or three months under a, under you know a transitional and beginning fleet manager and you'll find out how you like to run I like to run about 2300 miles a week if I can get that then I'm happy with going home if if I can't get that then I want to stay out you know it just depends on the week but uh, you send that form in and then they know that your next home date's going to be the following Monday or the next Monday right but they do they they do their they do their best to try to get you home all right if you're not if your fleet manager is not trying to get you home every week you need to call and talk to your fleet manager if that's not getting that resolved then you need to call and talk to their manager and if it still doesn't get resolved, maybe you request a different fleet manager. It's all about that communication and, and how you want to ride, you know. I mean, you're, yes, this is Maverick's truck, and yes, you have a fleet manager that tells you where to go and when to get there, okay. But, you know, they'll learn how you how you manage this truck, okay. And, and 2,300 miles on a flatbed truck hauling steel and wood and stuff, that's not a that's not a bad week at all so if you can maintain those miles and they know that you can drive them and then and that you're doing over your required you know 420 miles a day is what they require you to do that's that's your minimum on your PFP or you start losing points you know then you know that's what they think you should be doing with loading and unloading every day some weeks are better than others, but on average, I average right now, I'm averaging almost 500 miles a day, which is awesome. And that's with weekends that I'm sitting counting, because they count weekends too. If you're sitting weekends, that, that counts on your miles per day. Zero miles per day, right? So yes, they do try to get you home. Short answer. Let's go. Oh, almost forgot. Shout out to Pop JW. Uh, Anthony or uh, Jeff asked me to, to give a shout out to them. Uh, maybe it's their dad. I don't know. I appreciate you watching. Thank you very much. Uh, and uh, keep those comments coming. Leave a comment down below. If your company doesn't get you home every weekend and you want to be home every weekend, leave a comment down below. Maybe you need to sw switch companies. It doesn't have to be Maverick. It can go anywhere. Tell you. All right. So I have been here before. Um, I am a mile away from here, and when I got over into this area, I remembered that I'd been here before. All right. When I looked at it online and I looked at the satellite map. Uh, or satellite image of it I didn't remember but when I got into this area I remember because I came in here uh, last winter and it was uh, it was early morning and I was gonna go spend it was on a Saturday morning and I was gonna go spend the rest of the day over in Fort uh, Fort Wayne over here all right and it was dark and the GPS took me down into a residential area and there's nothing there. Where it says this business is, it is not there at all. It's not there. It's it's on a completely different road. Okay? Um, but I'm going to show you I'm going to show you what the GPS says. 
Now remember, I'm only a mile away from here. Look how many miles it says I'm away from my business, okay? It, it says I'm still 18 miles away. I am not. I'm only a mile away from here. So, uh, so yeah, so, so those are the things that I remember, okay? And, and I can, when I get into the area, I, I pretty much know where I'm going. Uh, but if you just follow, and, and the address is not right in here either, okay? And it tells you to go to like, I don't know, hold on a minute and I'll tell you. It tells you to go to 2601 Country Road 700 East. That is not their address. The address you want to be on is is 800 East, um, which is which is just over here. Okay, it's it's not complete. It's not right at all. And if you're a rookie and you're coming to the SDI in Columbia City, it is not in the it's not at the address you think it's going to be at. Okay, look at go go on to Google, GPS it on your phone and it'll give you the right address because you're going to go right past it if you don't put in an address in 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 like uh trucker path or or google maps or look for the look for sdi on google you'll go right past it for like 18 miles <laughs> or 17 miles so yeah so i'm going to show you when we get on the road again i've still got i got two hours to wait i'm two hours early and they won't let you in until it's your time. I got well. I'll put it this. I I can be there. It says my time is seven to seven nineteen or seven thirty, and I can be there thirty minutes early. So I can show up at six thirty. It's four thirty now. So I've still got two hours before I can go over there. Um, but uh, uh, and I'll show you when we get going again. I'll show you where it's at because we're gonna pull right out of here, go down a mile, and turn left, and then it's down that road. I went to the wrong. I went to the wrong gate when I did find it that day, and uh, it's not even at that gate off the main off of thirty. It's down the road. It's you have to turn left and go down the road. But I'll show you. So, like I said, I'm going to show you. Uh, this right here. show you where we're at where we're supposed to be going <clears throat> so come down here there's gate one and we're supposed to go to gate three I do believe Gate two, maybe it's gate, uh, all inbound trucks, gate three. Yeah, that's what I thought. Drivers requiring testing. I think that's me. Because I believe mine has expired. Let me find out. All right, everybody. So we're done for the day. Uh, I'm kind of in a weird spot. Hopefully they won't come knocking. I've left plenty of room for people to get by. So hopefully people won't come knocking on my door tonight. But I only had like six minutes left on my clock. It took forever to get this stuff done. 50 feet, 50 foot beams and I had to tarp them. 
it's always fun. Uh, I met a guy over the, over at uh, uh, SBI over here. Uh, his name was Jordan. He drives for PGT. Really nice guy. He's going to subscribe. Check this out. I was talking to him and telling him I had a YouTube channel. And he says, I got something for you. I said, okay. What you got? Samsung 360 degree camera. He just gave it to me. I asked him, I said, are you sure? He's like, yeah. He's like, I don't use it. I'm going to use that sucker. It's got a connection on it. I can stick it on my hat. I do 360 hat stuff. Check it out. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. I'm sending him a t-shirt. Yes, I am. As soon as I can get his address. But that's going to be it for today. Tomorrow we're driving home. we got 672 miles to the house. That's where we're going. I'll see you tomorrow.